Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to connect Shopify to TikTok shop. If you would like to broaden your target market, if you would like people to be able to discover your shop even more, or if you would like to add more varieties to your listing, connecting your Shopify to your TikTok shop is a way to go. It's very easy and I'm going to show you the step by step through this video. So first things first, what you want to do is you're going to want to search for TikTok on the search bars right here. And what it does is that it's going to search the TikTok apps for us. But I'm just going to go ahead and go to the Shopify app store real quick to show you the amount of TikTok apps that you will be able to find if you search for TikTok on Shopify app stores. So you can see here we got a trace for TikTok Pixel, we got QuitSync for TikTok Shop, we got TikSoul, we got TikTok Feed by Reputin, and the apps that we're going to use is this one's right here. The one who just said TikTok. It is free to install and the developer is TikTok itself. So we're gonna go ahead and click on install. Here, just like always, if you want to install Shopify apps, you're going to need to give access for these apps to view personal data as listed as well as view and edit store data. So you can go ahead and read all of them real quick if you need to and once you're done and you're okay with it, you can go ahead and click on install. Now we're going to continue and set up our TikTok. So first, you're going to want to connect your TikTok for business. Now, if you don't know, there are actually several accounts that you will need to create in order to do TikTok shop. There will be a TikTok for business. There will be TikTok ads if you would like to create an ads on your TikTok. And then there's also your personal TikTok account. I personally don't want to make all of them into one account. And one of the reason is because there are some cases where people got their account banned and if that happens i wouldn't want all of my account to be banned i will want somehow to still have some sort of backup account that i can use to access my tiktok and that is just one of the reason but it's totally up to you because you can still create your own tiktok business account with your personal account and it's very easy. All you have to do is go to TikTok business and then start creating your account from there. So if you already have your TikTok business account, you can go ahead and click on connect. If you haven't, you can always click on create new and start creating from there. So I have already logged in into my TikTok on this browser. That's why Shopify is able to read the TikTok account that I have. And since I already have my TikTok account logged in, I'm just going to go ahead and click on connect. If it isn't the TikTok account that you want to connect, you can always go ahead and click on switch user. Now connecting the TikTok for business will automatically connect the TikTok business center account as well. So it says that you can use TikTok business center account to access your product catalog at catalog and other marketing assets in one place which is totally true. So once it's done, we are going to go ahead and edit our TikTok ads manager. Now here, I already have a TikTok ads manager, but something goes wrong over here, so I can always go ahead and create a new one. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create a new one. And then I already got all of my details here. I got my country currency and then the business name the time zone the phone number and then for the industry i'm going to go ahead and change it to let's say it's going to be media and content creation then go ahead and click sign up and connect all right once that done here are the data sharing options that we can choose so we're going to go through them one by one the first one is the standard one for the standard one, they're going to use TikTok Pixel, a tracking technology that collects and shares customer browsing behavior on your online store. Browse-based ad blockers and prevent the pixels from collecting data. And you'll be able to see the detail of what are the data that are going to be shared. 
So these are the customer data that will be able to be shared. The first one is add billing and then complete payments, search, complete registration, add to cart, initiate checkout, and then view content. So here are the customer that TikTok will track. And then we're going to go to the second option, which is the enhanced one. Now, for the enhanced one, it says here that enhance adopt effective data sharing method to share activity from your customers and improve ads performance. This includes using TikTok pixels, events API, and advanced matching. And here are the customer data that are being shared. So some of them are similar, like the ad building one, complete payment, add to cart, and then search. But you'll be able to see their initiate checkout, view content, and email. So there are some additional data that TikTok are going to share through the second option. And now the third option is called maximum. And with maximum, it's going to combine all data sharing options to optimize ads performance and reach the most customers. This level uses TikTok pixels, even API, advanced matching, and Shopify APIs. So this one is going to combine the system from TikTok as well as Shopify in order to share your customers' data and is constantly updated with the latest TikTok technology to share customers' information. And if you scroll down, here are some of the data that are going to be shared. So the additional one is data via customer API as well as data via orders APIs. So those are the data sharing that you'll be able to do in order to measure optimized performance and expand customer. So for now, I'm just going to do the enhanced one. I'm not going to choose standards or maximum. I'm just going to do this ones for now. And then you will also be able and you also will need to create a TikTok pixel. I already have mine created here, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on confirm. Next, we're going to want to set up the company information. So we're going to have to add our state or province first. And then add your address, add your tax information. And you can also choose whether you want the payment to be automatic or manual payment. And here are the explanations. So for the automatic payment, you'll be able to link a card to your account and set up automatic payment on a recurring bill date or when you have reached the threshold. And for the manual payment, you'll have to accept the payment manually. So you can choose the best payment options for you. And then once you're done with entering all of the details, you can go ahead and click on confirm. All right, once we're done with all of them, we can go ahead and click on finish setup. Now, once we're done with the setup, our ad account is going to be under reviewed and it's going to take up to 24 hours. So make sure to check your TikTok apps through here every once in a while. And while you wait for the review, you can always go ahead and explore the settings section. So here, you can update your ads account if you want. You can also change the payment method and you can also change the targeting location. And in case you want to change your data sharing options, you can also go to this data sharing over here. And for the account, you can always edit your TikTok business account. If somehow it's not the account that you want, you can disconnect it and then reconnect it with the new one. If you ever have any problem with installing TikTok shop into your Shopify or managing and setting up your TikTok through Shopify, you can always go ahead and click this help center sections right here. And through here, you'll be able to get help from TikTok to solve your problems. For example, here, you can read about TikTok channel app on Shopify. You can also see the questions regarding TikTok channel app on Shopify. And if you're not sure about how to create business accounts and whatnot, you can go ahead and click this create an account sections right here. They also have a sections for ads management, like how to create a campaign, how to create an ad group, and how to create an ad as well as ad review. Because before you'll be able to create 
your ads you're going to have to create an ad group and there are some steps that are a little bit tricky but it's not hard at all so you can read all about it over here and if you need some general help or customer support you can always go to these support sections right here and choose from one of these and that's basically it that is how you can connect your tiktok shop to your shopify i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day